I'd like to welcome Susan Nitzberg, the Associate Director of Outreach for Standing Firm. Hi, Susan. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Can you tell us about Standing Firm and what it is? I'm happy to. Standing Firm is a relatively new initiative in southwestern Pennsylvania. And what we do is educate employers about the costs of partner violence on the workplace and the workforce. And then we provide them with tools for addressing it. Uh, most people understand the term domestic violence. And when we created our tagline, the, the business case to end partner violence, we specifically chose the word partner because employers, when they hear the word domestic, they think it only happens at home. It has nothing to do with me. And in fact, it's not my business. And what's standing firm is here to tell employers is that it may happen at home, but it walks through your doors every day at work. We have very strong data, both nationally and locally, that explains to employers that partner violence is costing them on their bottom line in many ways. Sometimes, uh, many times, there are increased health care costs, both physical and psychological, absenteeism, decreased productivity, and the very real threat of a workplace violent event. Uh, often, when a victim threatens to or leaves her abuser, the abuser may not know where she is staying at night, but he knows where she works. And this is the most vulnerable time for violence, and often he comes to work to harm her, and not only is she in danger, but her coworkers, her customers, her clients, her patients, her students are in danger. Absolutely, so this is why employers should be interested in the standing firm initiative. Correct, it's costing them whether they know it or not. And I forgot to mention one other way, it's costing them is on the abuser side. Employers are, uh, employ abusers, and abusers misuse company resources, computers, cell phones, time, vehicles, those kinds of things. So for example, if a victim is receiving 30 harassing texts an hour at her workplace, someone out there, very possibly at work, is making those 30 texts, therefore using his work time. And I say him in terms of the abuser because most abusers are men, most victims are women, but we know that there are men who are victims and women who are abusers. And I'd also like to point out that we know that the rate of domestic violence in the gay and lesbian community is very, very similar to the heterosexual community. What does joining actually mean? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, first of all, joining Standing Firm is free. Uh, secondly, what it means is that partner violence is on the radar screen of the employer and that the employer will consider taking one of any number of best practice action steps. The way we like to talk about it is the three R's. Recognize, respond, and refer. So recognize, number one, as I said before, recognize that there's a business case to address partner violence in the workplace. Of course, we also think it's the right thing to do. Secondly, respond. The respond is the biggest piece. Respond can take the form of policies, uh, communication, information, education, training, and even restroom stall posters that provide 800 numbers for, for victims. And then finally, refer. We are not asking or expecting employers to serve as domestic violence counselors. In fact, they should not do that. They're not equipped to do that. But there are resources in the community and many times employers have employee assistance programs that they can refer the victims to. Can you describe the type of employer most vulnerable to partner violence? Well, it can be any employer. But we think that, and we know that employers uh, that have no security, that have no human resource department, that have open doors, such as healthcare facilities, uh, merchants, shops on the street, res restaurants, the hospitality industry, uh, they can be most vulnerable. We know that the most vulnerable victims are women, uh, those who are younger, 
and those who are in socio the lower socioeconomic status. But we also know that domestic violence cuts across all lines, race, religion, geography, socioeconomic status, and education. So how are you different from community women's shelters? Well, we point out that we do not provide direct service to victims. The women's centers, uh, which we have many excellent centers in our region, do uh, provide legal counseling, uh, advocacy, medical advocacy, they have 24-hour hotlines. What Standing Firm does, which is quite unique and innovative, is educate the employer about what it's costing them on the workplace and on their bottom line. Are there many employers in southwestern Pennsylvania who have joined? Well, over the last three years, over 200 employers have joined Standing Firm. Um, they range from as large as UPMC, our largest employer in town with approximately 55,000 employees, to companies with one or two people. We have for-profit, non-profit, governmental, educational, all kinds of organizations. It doesn't matter if they have one location, many locations, if they're more blue collar, white collar. Partner violence, unfortunately, is pervasive in our community. And one out of every four women will be a victim in her lifetime. Can you tell us about the figure behind her? Yes, I'd be happy to explain this to you. This is a silhouette that's associated with the Silent Witness Initiative program of the National Council of Jewish Women, Pittsburgh section. What this silhouette represents is a woman in Allegheny County who has been killed at the hands of her, her abuser. This particular woman was killed on June 11, 2005. She was 20 years old. And this is a description of what happened. Um, we use this to represent that this could be any woman, someone's sister, daughter, mother, friend, or coworker. And in fact, that's why there are no features on the face, because it could, could represent any woman. And I'm pleased to say that Standing Firm is an affiliate of the National Council of Jewish Women and we work very closely on educating the community and employers about domestic violence. That sends a very powerful message. How can people learn more about Standing Firm? The best way to learn more about Standing Firm is to go to our website, which is www.standingfirmswpa.org. SWPA stands for Southwestern Pennsylvania. Um, so that is the very best way. And a company can join just on our homepage uh, where it says join us. That is the very best way to get in touch with Standing Firm. Okay. Well, thank you, Susan. Thank you for speaking with us, and we wish you well. Thank you.